you've carried on looking after the churchyard mm -hmm. where Jason is buried and you've tend his grave amongst others there yeah looking after them um, does that make you feel closer to it yes it does and um, you know he's, uh, I've, he's in a wonderful spot and the strange thing is we had a conversation in the churchyard Jason and I one day he brought Jay's out there and, and he was because I was looking like I was going at that time. I didn't look I look like I had long. You may remember that. Because you had cancer yourself. Yeah, and, and I was going to get no more treatment. And it was like, that's what they'd give me about three months. And uh, and and so um, it was, I was talking to Jason, and, uh, and 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 he was saying, I want you to be buried, Dad, because you know, I want to be buried with you. I said, no, I'm going to be cremated if you want to go with Mum and Dad. Whereas, and I want you to be cremated. But that was a conversation. I, I only mentioned it because He's laying down, I've got a photograph of it, and, and he's saying, well, look, there's an area over there, which is, looks nice, and, and he's pointing to the very, very area where he's lying now. Yeah. It's a lovely little glade, mm. you know, and he, he said, well, would you be able to get permission for me to go there then? I said, well, I, yeah, I'll ask Father Yender and we'll see. I said, but it's not really a conversation I want to have, son. I don't want to be talking about burying you. And, and that ended there, but, but yeah. you know, but... It's just strange that he pointed to the place where he ended How up. How did he feel about your illness and the fact that at that time you'd been given such a short time? Yeah, well, he was uh, distressed about it. He, he was brilliant in hospital. He moved, he came down here um, to be near me, and in, in, that's why he bought this cottage. He, he, he was finding it difficult to get from Leighton, you know, down here, and, and he wanted to be near me, and he was brilliant in hospital, you know. He was cleaning me up and everything. He was brilliant, staying there till late at night, and everything and he, he had a bad back of his own which which gave him a lot of trouble and uh, and that wasn't doing that any good and but but he was he was brilliant how old was jason when he passed he's 30 38 just 38 38 yes february 20th he was he was 38 on january the 21st so he was right. 38 in one he month just had a, yeah 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 and now since we last spoke um your illness has progressed, not at the speed I think a lot of other people thought it might. No, well, what happened was um, <clears throat> because I, I got that sort of got me down for about three months, and and and, and that looked like it was the way it was. I, I I wouldn't have any chemo. I wouldn't have another operation, and um, and so they put it down for about three months. And but I knew that um, the the plot where Jason was was buried. It would normally need about nine months to settle before you could put and I've got this very heavy um, surround and and, uh, and 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 headstone ordered which would be coming in three months and I had to get that make sure it was ready so <laughs> what I did in one day I just thought well I I just took 15 barrel loads of clay and chalk out took it up the other end of the churchyard and dumped it I'd ordered two tons of topsoil and I barrowed that in and every barrel the load that I put in, I bang down, you know, to 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 so to firm all this up to to, yeah. to to you know what would normally take nine months now is only going to take three months because you know I figure that's all the time I've got and I want it down. I want to make sure that it's okay. So that's anyway. As a result of that, I um <coughs> I lost all my strength. The next day I couldn't open a bottle or anything. But I didn't associate it with that because I'd always worked hard and uh, anyway. I rang the hospital and uh, they said, well, you, you better come in again because um, it, it may have affected your brain. I said, well, scan your head as well this time. So What was the cancer you were suffering from at that time? Uh, uh, colon. The, colon cancer. Yeah. I'd, I'd had the operation for that and, um, you know, they was on about, it had already then spread to me liver. Yeah. Secondary cancer had come to me liver, which mm. was when they said I needed another operation and chemo, which I refused because mm. I wanted to carry on you know, if I'd have taken that on, I wouldn't have been able to do any of the work that I was yeah. doing, and yeah. and it was important to me to do that. And I and I just didn't. Jason had gone. You know, I, I wasn't that. You know, I just didn't want to be around really at that time. But anyway, the thing is, um, um, what did they find when you went to hospital that time? Then? Well, they 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 um, they relented, and th that was the significant part about me digging that. If I hadn't have dug that. I would have been gone by now because I wouldn't have had another scan. Because they had me back in to give me another scan, they had been in touch with the Royal Free, making inquiries, and uh, they'd 
come up with an option for me to have a, a ablation treatment, uh, a radio frequency ablation, which, um, you know, no chemo, this is, I don't have chemo, no operation, just ablation. And they explained it and, and I jumped at it. Yeah. Well, I had five treatments in a Royal Free over about 18 months and it kept it at bay. Yeah. I mean, the idea was that it would, would, would get rid of it. Yeah. it. It never did. And the last one I had, which was in July this year, it, it uh, more of a mass than, and there was too much there then for them to deal with anymore. So they said um, after the last scan that we can't do any more. And uh, so that... Uh, <coughs> How did you feel when you... Uh, well, I, I sort of nearly made up in mind that I wasn't going to have any more done anyway because it was, it was, the last one was quite an ordeal. You know, they you do, they, and they, each time they go in, they go through the lung area and uh, there's always a chance that they might damage the lung. And that was worrying me because if that happened, then I wouldn't be able to work and, if, you know, everything would yeah. go pear-shaped in that respect. So, but, but it was out of my hands anyway. They said that they couldn't do any more. And uh, I, no, I felt okay. I, I just, it was, I was back then where I was in that time when I last spoke to you. Mm -hmm. um, this time with them, um, uh, uh, well, they said six months. Uh, mm. at that time, but, but now they're saying weeks. And um, I'm hoping they're wrong because I want to get to the end of this year because the, the, the church I will need mine twice more, um, uh, at least, because every year when I say I've finished it, I'm always <laughs> mowing it twice more, you know, yeah. we have a little warm spell. And I want to leave it dead right, you know, it's, it's, it's looking, and I've done 10 years, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a sort of significant time, it's a yeah. de decade. Yeah. And so uh, that was in August, and so and a lot of that on time. You, at one stage, never thought you had. Well, absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and the things that went wrong, like from the start. I mean, I was, I, I feel absolutely certain that I was meant to do that. It was something that was meant to happen, and um, uh, my roots are there, um, and. Um, it was uh, it, 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 somehow or other. It was it was such an awful place to go, um, all through the years, for everybody. You know, it was such an awful place, smelly and all overgrown and horrible. Mm. And um, so I, I'd uh, I've lost my train of thought there. But I was, no, but it's a beautiful, tranquil place now. Uh, yes, it is. It, yeah. It's it's turned it as and mm. because it was so bad and and it, it, the, the transformation was very noticeable mm. and. Um, and some people, after I've been doing it for a couple of years, they nominated me for um, uh, the Citizenship of the Year Award for 2007, which um, uh, I went up to the, the town hall and got presented with by the mayor and that. And so that was, that was out of the blue, you know, I didn't mm. expect that. Yeah. And it was... It was know, nice to get a bit of recognition. Well, yeah, it was nice. And,